Hey beautifuls, welcome back to my channel today where we do a lot of unboxings over here. Today I have with me my glossy box and this is the April 2023 box that we're going to be opening up today. Last month in March, it was interesting to say the least. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love my box either. So I'm hoping for April that it's a step up. I'm really hoping just to see some new products because that's one of the things that I've noticed with glossy boxes. We tend to receive a lot of products that are same over the year. So I'm really hoping we get something new. I'm hoping that it's gonna be exciting as well and lots of good items, but we're gonna find out with this one today. I'm not really sure what's gonna happen in it, but let's, let's just cross our fingers and hope we love it. If you guys are not familiar with the subscription box, I will post a link down below in the video description for you. This is a monthly beauty box and it is advertised as $21 a month with a bunch of different beauty products inside of it, free shipping. One thing that I've noticed is for some reason, I am only being charged $19 a month. Now watch, after saying it here on the internet, it's probably gonna change, but I've noticed it for the last three months. So I signed back up in January for it and I pay for this box. And my January, my February, and my March, and now my April have all been charged at $19 a month. Now, I thought maybe I signed up for a year subscription, so I went and looked, and it says month to month on my plan. So I have no idea why, but Either they dropped their prices or there's an error. I would find it very hard to believe that anyone would drop their prices because that's just not what subscription boxes do. I mean, I've never ever seen anyone do that before, but I did find that a little unique. So if you guys do sign up, it is supposed to be $21 a month, but who knows, maybe you'll get it for 19. So this is what the April box looks like. The theme is bloom and grow. I like this bamboo looking box. It looks very spa-like. It's got kind of a zen vibe to it. So this is what it looks like up close. And then it's got a very gorgeous pastel color on here. This box gives me spring vibes. And like I said, it's just kind of got that spa look to it. So I'm hoping it's all spa items inside of it. When we look inside, we have the matching tissue paper and bow. And then of course we have the matching lid. I do appreciate the details with Glossy Box because every single time that they put together a box, they design every element of it. And so, I mean, even the inside of a lid, they are paying attention to. You will receive a card with a QR code and this will allow you to scan it and then see what kind of items you have in your box. This sometimes doesn't work. I'll be honest with you guys. Occasionally I will scan it and it just gives me like an error 404 and that page not found kind of thing. So I don't know, I will scan it and we'll see if it works, but it's not always been reliable. I don't know if they forget that they put these inside of the boxes and they forget to turn the thing on or that they forget to put it together. I don't really know what it is, but let's see here if the April one works or not. It's trying and it says April US product card. Hey, I have a magazine this month. Oh my gosh. So it says April is here. Spring is in full bloom. This is our bloom and grow edit and we're offering six amazing must have products inside of it. We have six products. That's exciting. So this is our sneak peek of the box. I bet you this is commodity fragrances. Is it? It is. Oh, see, I know a fragrance box when I see it. And especially when it's this brand, I love commodity. So this is going to be the paper fragrance that we have here. This scent is very good. I've had this in the past. This will be a travel size. I think it's considered deluxe travel though because they actually make the smaller sample cards as well. So this perfume will come in at $25 for this size. The full size version retails for $135. So this one product has already paid for my entire box. This is their Cult Classic and it's going to feature notes of sandalwood and it says that it's also going to have a natural scent to it that's going to be a unique soft sandalwood blend. Oh, I'm so happy with that one. 
Next item is going to be from Elemis. This is the Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer. This, once again, will be a travel-sized item. And I've talked about this before on the channel that I do enjoy this product as a moisturizer, and it does a very great job of that. However, I don't feel like it's a strong enough primer. So I always just say, put it on as a moisturizer and then just put your primer over top of it. So as long as you don't have the expectation of a primer, you should be fine. This will retail for $23, really? So this size retails for $23. The full size retails for $54. I had no idea that was that expensive. I knew it was up there, but not that high. Next item will be a shower gel. This is from Kweshi? I, I could be pronouncing that wrong. That wouldn't surprise me. This is the vanilla shower gel. I have used this product in the past and it does smell very vanilla. It's a very nice, calming, neutral scent. This one is 6.76 ounces. So I believe this is full size. Yes, $16 is what this retails for. It also has chamomile inside of it, which will calm and revitalize your skin. Oh, look at this little palette. Such a little guy. This is from e.l.f. It's called the Bite Size Eyeshadow. It is bite size. It kind of reminds me of like a little chocolate bar. You know those mini Hershey bars that you get in like the bags of Halloween candy or something? That's what this looks like. So I like the shades that are in here. The shadows are really pretty. So this is their bite size and it's called Berry Bad. I definitely see berry tones in here. This product if you were going to purchase it it will come in at three dollars for it it is considered a full-size product and i think that's because i mean what would be smaller than bite size like a bite of a bite size <laughs> next item is a brush this is from la Russe, and this is going to be a blending eyeshadow brush so it's got a pink handle on here which is really cute for spring and up top here, you're gonna have your eyeshadow brush. This is gonna be your blending brush. This is perfect. I will absolutely use this one. So usually with blending brushes, you want them to be able to move. You also want them to have enough bristles inside of it to actually pick up your pigment and to give you the color you're looking for. If there's less bristles, you're gonna have to reapply over and over again. So there's a lot in here, which I like, but they're not tightly packed, so they're still gonna blend and move. So this is one where I would apply anything up here on my outer corner, like right up at the top, if you're putting any blending shades in there, that's where I would use this brush at. So this retails for $18 for it. Also, I don't have this one. So in their little magazine, it says we were supposed to receive the tapered blending brush. This is not tapered. And in the magazine, it shows it was gonna have a cut angle to it. And I don't have that one, but that's okay. I would much rather this one because I will use this more than I'll use a tapered brush. But $18 is, whew, that's an expensive brush. Last item that I have today will be a pair of scrunchies. Two of them. We have two satin scrunchies from the Vintage Cosmetic Company. These are going to be a gorgeous yellow color. I have had products from the Vintage Company before. They try to give you an inspired vintage look and design. So I do think these are cute. I don't know if I will wear these, but I do think somebody will like them. So that is everything inside of my glossy box for April. I gotta tell you guys, this is a huge step up, like massive step up from the March box, and I'm good with it. So I already knew value-wise, I've definitely made back my money on this box. That perfume alone was worth it, so that's fantastic. I do like all of the products that I have in here. I will use all of them except for the scrunchies. They're just not really my kind of thing. But outside of that, I think they're all great items. They're good brands. I'm excited to try this little palette. It's really cute. So I think we have a winner here. Now, like I said, Glossybox tends to send us a lot of the same brands. And having said that, I have seen all of these brands before in their subscription boxes. It just so happens that I really enjoy several of these, so I'm okay with it. But I will say they it tends to be a lot of the same things. I would love to expand that reach and bring in something new. I don't think, I mean, I'm not gonna complain about receiving this fragrance because I really do love it. But 
we have had it before. So it would just be nice to get something a little bit different, but I still think this box is absolutely worth it. In fact, I recommend you guys purchasing this box this month because it is so worth your money and they're really great items. So comment down below, give me you guys' feedback. What do you think? Do you agree with me that this is a step up from March? Because Man, this is a massive step up in my opinion. So if you guys wanna purchase the April box, like I mentioned, I will post the link down below. My understanding is everyone will receive the exact same box for April. So you should be able to get this box as long as you order before the month is over. So until next time, you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you all in my next unboxing video. Bye.